Hi gang! Welcome to the studio. Today we're going to make some really easy little DIY faux enamel earrings using embossing powder. So let's get right to it. To make today's uh, earrings I have used Lawn Fawn stitch sleeves and this set from Alterations and Tim Holtz of Tags. But you can certainly cut out your own shapes or you probably could easily find die cuts and these are the we're going to make something similar to these today and all I did was I cut out a whole bunch of tags and a snowflake and um, tags and leaves and you can cut these out of paper or some kind of a light board if you're cutting paper Use two pieces of paper uh, for each earring and then just glue them together. You'll need a few supplies for this uh, project. I have a, an embossing gun, a heat gun, a hair blower won't work. I happen to like this Wagner a lot. I have some pigment inks and Versamark. Any pigment inks will do uh, because we're going to be using ultra thick embossing powder in clear. And there's a lot of nice brands of this. I happen to have the Ranger brand. But again, I'll link things below. And I have a pair of tweezers too. And let's get started. I have a glue stick sitting here because I just I did cut another a back for this tag. So I'm just going to quickly glue stick these two pieces together and then that'll give it enough density. It also will be an instant uh, beautiful backing. These are glued together and I didn't get them exactly where I wanted them but we can fix that easily. So let's move on to inking these. I'm going to set this aside for the moment and let's get rid of that. Okay, so pretty simple. I like this. Uh, any of the gold inks will do. I um, also I like this Delicata. It's beautiful ink and I also love this rose. I think it's called Red Gold by Brilliance. So I'm just going to dab some right on the leaves. You could use a dabber but I'm just going direct to um, to paper here and um, just get make sure it's covered with with the pigment ink because that's what the embossing powder will stick to and I'm going to just start with this one and I have under here I have a Ranger piece of a non-stick heat embossing thing I'm going to try just to add a little more gold without transferring just going to do that. Once you have your piece all coated up nicely, I have a paper bowl and a coffee filter in it and I find that this really does help to wrangle that powder. And you're just going to coat, completely coat with the powder and then you'll go ahead and emboss and you'll want to repeat this two times. You can use Versamark for the second coat. One good thing about the tweezer method is that you can heat from behind and that if you heat from behind if you have a glittery piece it prevents the glitter from or the embossing powder from flying all over the place. So either way, but um, I do find that I have a little bit more control using that, doing that method. So just I'm just going to put another coat onto these two backs and then we're ready to put things together. Once you've finished embossing, you can just funnel that powder back into the jar and um, put the lid on. I just find this keeps things a little bit neater and then I can just flick this off into the trash can and use that coffee filter uh, until it, you know, there's too much, there might be different colors or something that you don't want to contaminate. Uh, I'm just grabbing a little bit more of that sticky ink 
and placing it anywhere really on here. And uh, I have a little scoop, a little straw scoop made here. And I'm just going to sprinkle that right into that. Just a little extra. We're going to use this to glue the two pieces together. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to hook this leaf up with the tweezer. And um, so I'm ready to place it. Let me once again bring you in closer. There we go. So you can see that little sprinkle. And I'm just going to, let's just heat this bit of powder up. And once it goes liquid, I'll come along and drop. I mean, you could use a regular glue. I, I just thought this was so easy. And then let me pull that out of the way and... And I do like the bit of dimension you can get with this too. So let that let that cool down for a few minutes, really a few seconds. And I'm um, going to clean up, and we'll get to the hard part. I did want to tell you about these anti-static. I think they call that. These pick up that embossing powder really good and. Um, as for your Versamark pad that might get embossing powder on it, I just wipe it off somewhere and then maybe go around it with a, um, with a rag and good as new. Okay, let's get the hooks in these earrings and I am just using these from the craft store and I think they're, um, I don't know what they're... They have a kind of a brassy look to them. So, um, if you don't know this, I'm probably... You could uh, figure it out. But you just take the jump ring, and this is a six millimeter jump ring, and you separate them by sliding them apart that way. Not that way. Not opening them the other way. And then just on goes the wire and on goes the tag and um, and then back together with them. So if it's not hanging right just take that ear wire and turn it gently until it does and that's it. Um, they're pretty easy to make I think they'd be really fun uh, to make a whole bunch of them and give them to your family and friends. It's a great little um, holiday gift. I'm going to be putting up pretty soon um, a little mini class um, showing some more techniques for this. I thought it would be a fun, um, way too long for a YouTube video, but fun for a uh, holiday gifts and such and just a little bit more detailed embossing and uh, die cutting what you can different things that you can use in different ways so I thought um, if you if you want to subscribe to um, either my blog feed or my newsletter those links are below and um, don't worry about the newsletter I definitely don't send that many. I should probably send more than I do. But that's the video for today. Thumbs up. If you like it, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, everything is linked below. All the supplies are linked below. See you soon, gang.